clashes between hundreds of Palestinian protesters and Israeli troops erupted across the West Bank on Thursday while demonstrators in Gaza burned posters of U.S. President Donald Trump and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, as well as Israeli and U.S. flags. The leader of the Hamas militant group, which runs Gaza, called for a new armed uprising in a widespread show of anger over Trump's move to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Read more, world leaders call Trump's Jerusalem decision dangerous and irresponsible. In the West Bank, crowds of protesters set tires on fire and hurled stones at anti-riot troops. In the biblical town of Bethlehem, troops fired water cannons and tear gas to disperse a crowd, in clashes that could cloud the upcoming Christmas celebrations in the town of Jesus' birth. In Ramallah, the seat of the Palestinian government, protesters set tires on fire, sending a thick plume of black smoke over the city. Trump's dramatic break on Wednesday with decades of U.S. policy on Jerusalem counters long-standing international assurances to the Palestinians that the fate of the city will be determined in negotiations. The Palestinians seek Israeli annexed East Jerusalem, captured by Israel in 1967, as a future capital. Palestinians shuttered their schools and shops on Thursday to begin three days of rage over Trump's decision. Rallies were underway in other West Bank cities, and a demonstration was being held outside the Damascus Gate of Jerusalem's Old City. There were no serious casualties reported in Thursday's clashes. But Friday, the Muslim Holy Day, could provide an important test when Palestinians gather for weekly mass prayers. Watch, world leaders oppose Trump's decision on Jerusalem. In the Gaza Strip, Hamas leader Ismail Hani called on Palestinians to launch a new intifada, or uprising, against Israel on Friday. Read more, why it matters if the U.S. Embassy in Israel is located in Jerusalem. The American decision is an aggression on our people and a war on our sanctuaries, Hwani said in a speech, urging supporters to be ready for any orders. We want the uprising to last and continue to let Trump and the occupation regret this decision, he said. Hamas, a group that seeks Israel's destruction, killed hundreds of Israelis in suicide bombings and other attacks in the early 2000s. But the group's capabilities are more limited now. Gaza, Hamas stronghold, is closed by an Israeli blockade, while in the West Bank, many of its members have been arrested. Nonetheless, it possesses a large arsenal of rockets capable of striking much of Israel. Palestinian protesters burn tires as they wave their national flags and pictures of late Palestinian President Yasser Arafat during a protest at the main square in Gaza City. A Palestinian protester burns a poster depicting U.S. President Donald Trump during a protest against Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, in Gaza City. Palestinians burn a U.S. flag during a protest against Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. A Palestinian youth takes part in a protest over U.S.